And then I also pulled out the extra large pieces just to see if maybe it was an error that was just in the extra small. I was in the process of cutting out my next sewing make and then I had to stop to run to the store. So I figured I would give you some of the details on this pattern. I am really looking forward to making it. So I am making view C and what else? Oh, there are nine pieces. There is a neck facing and then there is an armband facing. There is a V neck front and I am making the sleeveless version, which is what view C is. There are pockets, and I'm trying to remember off the top of my head. Oh, the skirt is gathered onto the bodice. So I think those are all the details. So when I get back, I just need to cut out the actual fabric pieces, and then I should be able to get started. So I am back from the store. This is McCall's 8281, and view C is the view that the model is wearing. I did cut out an extra small. The pattern is rated as easy and I will be using this corduroy fabric that does have a little bit of stretch in it. I have so much lint all over these pieces but they are all cut out I am going to sit down take a break and get started on this probably tomorrow so it's a new day and I feel refreshed I do have to go somewhere in a few minutes so I did set a timer I have about 30 minutes to sew so I'm gonna see how far I can get in that time so I'm in the process of getting ready to pin the center fronts together there is a dot here on the front bodice and you are to stitch from this dot down to the end and then after that you will attach the front to the back at the shoulder area. The front is attached to the back. I had some leftover faux leather so I decided to make a pocket to go on the front and now I'm about to attach the front facings together. After that I will attach the back neck facing to the front neck facing then I'll be able to attach this whole piece to the V neckline area. This is a closer look at the facing all complete so these are the two fronts attached to the back and then per the directions you are to go around these edges and finish them off so I will do that with my serger and then I'll be able to take this and attach it to the front of the bodice. So I'm just about ready to sew the facing on so there is a dot here and I will sew to the dot pivot and then sew up the other side. The waistband is attached and I did trim the seam a little bit and I snipped into it and now it's time to do some under stitching. So I pressed this seam allowance up and now I am going to sew on the left side of the seam. I'm just going to pull this out of the way and then I'll sew down here all the way around. And then when I get to this side, I will pull this up out of the way and then stitch down as far as I can. I am now on step number seven. So I have the garment turned inside out and step number seven has you based one inch away from the edge all the way down and that will attach this facing to the actual bodice. And then in step number eight, you will do top stitching along the basting stitches. So I don't want to have to remove the basting stitches. So I'm going to go ahead and use this water soluble or wash away thread. And that way, when I wash the garment, these stitches will come out and I don't even have to worry about removing them. I will put a link to this thread if you're interested. So I measured one inch away and it ended up being really, really close to this surged edge. So I just followed along this edge all the way around to the other side. And once I flipped everything over, it looked like this. 
and now I will just go ahead and top stitch on the spaced it edge in black thread. I need to take this out because I ended up creating a little pucker. But yeah, I'll take that out and then sew this down in black. And then when I wash this, this white stuff will go away. Before I cut the fabric out, I had it in a box with some sweater knit. And that sweater knit got all over this corduroy. And I did not use this lint roller before I cut the fabric out and it is all over it. So I'm going to end up using this lint roller to get all this off. But in the meantime, my next step is to add gathering stitches around the top of the skirt front and also around the top of the skirt back. I did sew the side seams together for the bodice. So the bodice is almost done. I just need to go ahead and finish the armhole openings and I'll do that after I do the skirt. This is step number 26 and as you can see the front and back armhole facings should line up but when I line up the pattern pieces the front facing is a lot longer than the back facing and I double checked and I did make sure that I cut out the right size and the right view and I did and then I also pulled out the extra large pieces just to see if maybe it was an error that was just in the extra small. But it's not. This back armhole facing is a lot narrower than the front armhole facing. I went ahead and I stitched the armhole facings together anyway. So you can see that this is so much wider and it's hanging way beyond this piece right here. So what I think I'm going to do is just trim this off. I'll draw a line all the way around to this side and then I'll just cut this extra off. And then after that, you are supposed to finish this edge here. So this is actually going to be on the inside and no one will see it. And this is the side that lines up to the actual armhole in the dress. So I'm just using this little seam guide and I'm going to match it up to where the fabric is hanging over and then I'm going to draw a line and I'm just finishing this off because I already did the other side so I'm just going to do that and then I'll go ahead and just trim this extra off and that way everything should line up a little bit better and then I can just go ahead and serge around this edge just to make sure everything is nice and neat. So there we go. That looks a little more even. So now I can go ahead and attach this to the dress. Okay, so I surged around the bottom and I'm just gonna go in and trim this down just a little bit and then I'll go ahead and attach it to the dress and then I'll hem the dress and I'll be all done. all done with the dress and do you remember these white stitches that were done around the neckline in the basting thread that washes away well I threw the dress in the washing machine I just pulled it out of the dryer and this is how it came out all of those white stitches washed right away there is nothing left so the wash away thread really does work
keep that passage closed for